Today is Valentine's Day and Charlie's working all day, so we're not really celebrating, but I'm gonna go grab lunch with a coworker and that kind of gives me a reason to get ready. So I'm just gonna get ready and show you guys what I do and just kind of like have a little chat, you know? Without further ado, let's get ready. One of my favorite clips I just got from Amazon. Isn't it so cute? The other day I posted a Instagram story, a bunch of Instagram stories of trying some new makeup products that I got and I'll be using most of them today too. I saved the story under a highlights tab that's um, titled beauty. So if you guys wanna go check that out, it is over there. Today I'm gonna be using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation that I got in the mail yesterday. I was trying to dabble and figure out if I wanted to use the new Estee Lauder one or the airbrush foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Honestly, I have basically switched over to Charlotte Tilbury products because I just love the brand. First thing I'm gonna put on is this Wonder Glow Primer. This is very illuminating and it could be worn under your foundation or it could be worn over okay so now that i have that on there i'm going to use this i just got this becca instant awake bright eyes set that i'm gonna try today this is what the primer looks like this anti-fatigue under eye primer feels so good on your eyes it feels like a cooling effect I'm actually obsessed. I feel like I'm waking up. This is what the foundation looks like, the Airbrush Flawless. I'm wearing the shade Warm, number four. It's such a struggle right now to color match. I went to Sephora to color match for the Double Wear Estee Lauder one, and it was such a struggle because I don't know the color of my skin. Like, I, I couldn't just, like, look at it and guess oh my gosh this looks really white oh gosh guys i think this is gonna be too light for my face is it too light oh my god i look so white i look like mulan that's a fail okay we're gonna mix it up we're for sure gonna add this in here my plan of doing just Charlotte Tilbury is not working. Okay, look how dark this other one is. Oh, much more like it. My best friend says always dab instead of wipe because you're gonna take off your dry skin and spread it and it's just not gonna look good, you know? Okay, so my foundation struggle and me trying on that foundation by Charlotte Tilbury for the first time in front of you guys was a fail. Look how light the color is. The top one is Charlotte Tilbury and the bottom is Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder is, oh, it's even like a little dark for me. So I mixed them both and I think my face looks fine with them both mixed right now, but obviously I'm not gonna keep two $50 foundations. I need to go and figure out which one I want to keep. I did really like the consistency of the airbrush one. I really like it and I like the pump. The problem with the Estee Lauder double wear one is it doesn't come with a pump. You have to buy it separately for $10 and the foundation's expensive already and you guys want me to buy a pump too. Now that my foundation looks semi-presentable, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Liquid Away Concealer. I don't use a lot of this concealer just because the foundation that I use already has so much coverage that I don't feel like I need too much of it. All right, I think I'm gonna prime my eyes again just to make sure that the foundation didn't mess it up. I really like that primer, it's very cooling. All right, next is the Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is the color Light Medium. 
I feel like a little bit goes a really long way. And the color of this is kind of peachy and I guess it's supposed to neutralize that like blue, purple shade of like any dark circles under your eyes. I'm going to put some setting powder on it and this is what it looks like. I'm using my Morphe M438 brush for this. This is probably my favorite brush for setting things. All right, all right. I used to use this contour wand. It's the color Fair Medium. And you just put little dots right here and right here. And it will, it's like a liquid bronzer. I really liked it, but I feel like I'm scared to use a lot. I still need to get used to using it. I haven't like had too much practice. I'm gonna have my best friend Victoria show me how to use it. Whereas this bronzer, I'm so used to and I'm obsessed. It's the airbrush bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. It looks like this. I'm just using this sculpting brush from Target. This is my favorite bronzer ever. Also, I have like white stuff all on my hair and what it is is dry skin because I just like am starting to get over my chemical peel and the last parts of my chemical peeled along my forehead and there's just so much like dead skin that's like getting in my hair it's so gross okay i feel like i'm loving how this bronzer is making my face look because it's making it look a lot tanner really quick i'm gonna finish my nose up i have a special brush for your nose but i just don't like using it i don't know why i feel like it's too dramatic I'm very low-key when it comes to doing things like i think i'm being so dramatic right now with how my makeup looks but it's probably not as dramatic i should have probably done this before i put my bronzer on but i'm using the mineral veil from bare minerals to set some foundation in my t-zone and i'm also using the morphe 438 brush honestly i don't have too many brushes i feel like that's one thing i don't invest in which i should now that that's set, I'm going to do my blush, and it's also Charlotte Tilbury. I guess all my stuff is Charlotte Tilbury. It's so pretty. The color is Pillow Talk, I think. It's Cheek to Chic Pillow Talk. And I am using my Morphe E4 brush for this. A little bit goes a long way with this. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm super bad at having a makeup routine. I will sometimes <laughs> do my eyeshadow first and then do my foundation. It really just depends on the day, but I feel like I subconsciously switch it up so that my makeup routine stays fun and exciting, I don't know. But <laughs> Soft Glam is the palette that I use. I used the Naked palette for the longest time and then I was like, dude, I don't even like this palette and it's not it's not doing it for me anymore. So I switched to a different palette and I looked up a lot of different palettes and I watched review videos. The biggest thing for me is I'm not amazing at makeup. So I want something that's easy. I could just use a couple of colors from the palette and I don't have to do all this intense, crazy, fun stuff. I just want like the basic colors, but it'll look like I know what I'm doing, you know? So this palette for me is like amazing. It has a lot of pinks it has some sparkles in it has a lot of browns it comes with this little brush too like i said i'm very low maintenance when it comes to brush i'm using the more fluffier end of this anastasia beverly hills brush that it came with and i'm just gonna put it everywhere i'm using the color tempera anyone else do you like weird faces when they put their makeup on I feel like I look kind of crazy without having my eyebrows or my mascara done. I'm using this other brush from Target. It's called the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm putting the color Rose Pink in there. It looks like this. It's this one. Ooh, that's pink. I like it. Mm. I really like this pink. Looking good, V. Alright, next I'm going to... Add a little sultry, which is like more of a maroon color. And I'm putting this more into the outside of my crease. I'm using rose pink. I'm putting it on the bottom. 
just a little bit. I don't like a lot of it on the bottom of my eyes. And then I'm using the color Fairy. It's a really light gold color. And I'm just going to put it on right here to spice it up, you know. Alright, and now I'm just going to blend it all with this other fluffy brush. For my eyebrows, I use the Old Reliable Dip Brow Pomade in the color Taupe. I used the Anastasia brush. Okay, let's get serious. I start with the end. My friend Victoria taught me how to do this. And I watch a lot of videos. Honestly, I love watching other people do makeup because I learn so much. And I always extend it out to make my brows look longer never gotten my eyebrows dyed or an eyebrow lamination and I think I'm gonna do it sometime this month just because I'm super interested in what my eyebrows would look like I feel like it could change it and make it better or it could make it worse if you guys have gotten an eyebrow lamination comment below and tell me your experience with it all right and then I'm gonna put this 24 hour brow setter from benefit and then I just brush them up I'm going to do my mascara really quick and then do my lips right after. I just use this e.l.f. eyelash curler. It's like three bucks. I just get the e.l.f. one because I like replacing it like every month. And I wear contacts so it's probably better for my eyes. The mascara that I use is something that I swear by. It is this telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. My favorite. I love drugstore mascara. That's the one thing that I get at the drugstore for makeup. Ooh, I look like a different person with mascara on, oh my gosh. Of course, what's the day of putting your makeup on if you don't get it on your eye eyelid? I barely put any on my lower lashes just because I don't want it to be dramatic. I want the top to be dramatic. I do add a little bit, but not like a lot of it. All right, we're missing the lips, but I think we are almost done. The lip pencil, the lip liner I'm going to use is a Bare Minerals one. I think the color is like nude, something nude. This is like my OG one. I've had it for so long. Looks good. I want to show you guys different things for lips that I've been using just because it depends on the occasion and I want you guys to have access to all of these because I swear by all of them. First one is this Dior Lip Glow Color Revival Balm. One of my best friends recommended it to me and I have absolutely adored it since. This is more of your everyday go-to, very light, soft color lip gloss or lip balm. Lip glow, whatever. Very like everyday, very very pretty very subtle and like pink you know the next one I want to show you guys is this Charlotte Tilbury one that I got and the color is Kim KW I don't wear it alone I've been mixing it this is it on its own I mean it doesn't look bad but I've been mixing it with this Smashbox one the color of it is fair game this is what the color looks like and a little bit goes a long way let me tell you i'm literally just gonna put a little bit and then i'm gonna spread it out with my finger Ooh, baby like talk about kim kw lips mm -mm. i think it's so pretty this is for like more of a night out of course or you know when you want to be a little bit more dramatic but I think it looks so good on. All right, so that is the end of my get ready with me. This is my finished makeup look. It's like your perfect everyday going out, you're gonna see people look. It's not like your go-to everyday natural look. I feel like it's a little bit more dramatic. If you guys do want to see an everyday natural looking look, let me know down below. And then I can also do a nighttime look where I add a little bit more stuff on my eyes and a little bit more stuff on my lips just you know if you want to see another get ready with me just comment down below this is what it looks like i 
hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more. Love you. God is good. As always, a little OOTV outfit of the video. I'm wearing a jacket from Urban and I'm wearing the Fast and Free shorts from Lulu and they are a six inch. They're more of a running short and they are the camo print as you can tell, the little camo. And I'm wearing socks from Lulu. They're so cute. <laughs> now I'm gonna put my outfit on for my lunch date with my friend and show you guys what I decided to wear. Finished product. This is what I'm wearing to my lunch date. I'm just wearing this sweater from Urban. These Levi's, I think I got them from Urban too. And then these shoes. My favorite high top Converse. And that's my OOTD. And then I'm wearing this purse that I got from Amazon for like 15 bucks. I'm so obsessed with this outfit. It's so cute. Yay! All right, time for lunch.